So now we're ready for the test and see how it performs. So this is a pretty tough piece of leather. Mm -hmm. Michelle's professor, Metin Aaron, is helping research why ancient North Americans abandoned copper for making sharp tools. Let's see if it cuts it. All right, here we go. Oh, there you go. Look at that. A little bit. Cutting through animal hide is a key test for any butchering or hunting knife. Oh, that's a that's piece interesting. Of it's yeah. Working, yeah. One more. Ah, there we go. Hmm. All right, so. I feel like that was a lot of effort on my part. Yeah, I think my part too. <laughs> Let's see what stone does. All right, so it's much littler, so not as much leverage. Oh. Wow. That's a big difference. <laughs> Done. <laughs> That worked That's way an interesting better. result. That's very interesting. The stone, which everyone thinks is inferior, way better. Mm -hmm. Better for a few reasons. Stone offers the advantage of being extremely sharp. Uh, this edge gets almost razor sharp down to a few molecules. And stone tools are easier to make. Metin can craft a spearhead in a third of the time that it takes Michelle to forge one out of copper. But stone has one big flaw. The disadvantage is being that it does dull. Michelle still has plenty of investigation to do before she develops a theory on why ancient people went back to stone. But she thinks performance is probably only one part of the equation. There could be social factors. It could be that copper is so special and beautiful that people didn't want to trade it to other groups. They maybe wanted to keep it for themselves, for ornaments, for earrings, bracelets. 